Uh, good day guys, I hope you are good. So on today's episode, we're going to deal with quadratic functions. Yeah? So quadratic function, some will say parabola graph. Yeah? So it will depend on how you call it, but quadratic function or parabola graph. Yeah? And it's a graph in, in functions there. We have grade 10, grade 11, and grade 12. So now, this function has got its general formula and its general formula is y equal to ax squared plus q. Ne? So these two, a and q, they behave differently or they, they have different effects on the graph. Ne? And we'll talk about their effect uh, in the next uh, few seconds. Yeah, well. So now, uh, on today's lesson, we're gonna learn how to, how to draw the graph of parabola, how to plot the coordinates on the Cartesian plane, and the effects of the value of a and the value of q on the graph, basically. Yeah. So now let's talk about the effects of a or the role that the value of a plays on the graph. Yeah. So now a it is or it it represents the shape of the graph, ne? shape, shape of the graph. Ne? Shape of the graph. If the value of a, for example, if a is bigger than zero, or if a is positive, therefore the parabola will be happy. The graph, our graph will be happy or will face upwards. It's like when you are smiling. You are hey bank it and your lips will show or will, will go up. Your, your upper lips uh, will literally go down and the lower lip will go up. Oh, then it shows you to your hey bank it. So literally, uh, your graph will literally look like this. Yeah, oh. If the view of A is bigger than zero, our graph will be concave up or will be happy. Ne. For example, if a uh, Perhaps the question says that you must draw the graph of y is equals to a uh, x squared plus q. Ne? Look, I guess we'll talk about q later. Q has no value. We'll talk about it later. Ne? But we're only talking about the value of a here. And in this case, the value of a is positive 1. Ne? Well, if they say you must draw the graph of this function, therefore, it will shape upwards irrespective of what is the value of q ne? but the value of a will, will say that will mean that the graph will go up or will face upwards ne, guys i hope you are good with that and when the value of a is negative or when the value of a is more than zero when the value of a is negative our graph will face we will, we will frown or will not be happy it will face what downwards ne? it will be like this when the value of a is negative i hope you can see the difference for example if you've got y is equals to negative x squared plus two here or i can say negative two x squared for example our graph will face downwards irrespective of what's uh, in front of our coefficient of x squared which is negative two in this case or what is the value of q irrespective of the value of q here our graph will face down as long as the value of a is negative q can be 10 negative 20 negative million as long as the value of a is negative our graph will face downwards as long as the value of a here is positive our graph will face upwards please understand the, the role that a plays on the graph it does not it does not depend on the value of q for the shape of our graph or for the direction of our graph but it only depends on the value of a ne? let us make an example here if i've got y is equals to a let me just see x squared ne? and the question says draw the graph draw draw the graph y equal to x squared now in any question of graphs when you see this two purple squared here you might just think of this graph parabola graph or quadratic function when you see two this two x squared okay they can literally write it in different forms 
but as long as you see this squared and see my story graph of something squared it's only parabola that's got a squared here you must just draw the graph of parabola if you see a squared here and the simplest way to draw the graph or any graph in terms of the functions in mathematics grade 10 to grade 12 or from grade 9 to grade 12 or even from grade 8 to grade 12 is by drawing the box of x and y coordinates yeah. draw your box of x and y yeah. draw the box of x and y coordinates and here we've got you literally give yourselves x coordinates and you will find y coordinates through substitution here to a real equation so you give yourself uh, x values from or x coordinates from negative to positive and here are negative two negative one zero one and two and guys you're not limited in terms of giving yourself negative uh, x values or x coordinates you can even start from negative five negative four negative three negative two negative one zero one two three four five you're not limited in terms of uh, x coordinates here you're not limited yeah but as long as this starts from negative to positive that's the that's the, that's the logic behind there now this negative two is actually back to the equation again why is the x i put in negative two and find y that's the basic logic so i put negative two inside the brackets and say squared on the calculator it's going to give me four i put in this negative one inside the where i see x here it's about negative one squared to find y it's about a uh, one i put in zero i see x to find y it's about zero squared okay zero I put in one where I put in x. I mean, I put in one where I see x to find y. It's here. It's going to be one squared is one. I put in two where I see x to find y. Two squared. I get to be four. Please do that. I'm just I literally substituted where I see x. I put in negative two, negative one, zero, one, two here to find this y. That's how I found these coordinates here. Yeah? Please use a, use a calculator to fill in the y coordinates here. Please. Now, through these coordinates, plot your graph. Let us plot our graph and see where it will take us. Ne? Now, okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So these are coordinates, and it. Then when I please plot it properly using a ruler there on your space because you now don't have a proper mechanism to draw the graph properly so negative 2 kx and here so negative and here x x x is y x is and here x around negative 2 where is our negative 2 is on the left and here here's our negative 2 here then where is 4 for y you just check here for positive 4 here's it then you just here's our negative 2 and negative here's our negative 2 and 4 here's it then negative 1 and 1 x rank negative 1 negative 1 kina y rank 1 1 rank kina they just you just join them in the middle when they meet here then 0 and 0 it's origin like here middle here level then now 1 and 1 y is our 1 and x is 1 y is 1 here's it then 2 and 4 2 and 4 2 and four, two you want to get x and here, then four you want to get y, you know, here. then you just join them here. So it's negative one here, negative two, negative three, negative four, one, two, three, four. Please put it properly there on your uh, in your book, then you just join the coordinates there. Since you already know the value of a is positive, you must expect your graph to face upwards to be happy. Yeah, let us join the coordinates, get this. Uh, Neighbor. So our graph basically turns here at zero and zero. Coordinates are zero and zero. This is how our graph will look like. This is how our graph will look like if the value of a is positive, and it will face upwards as you have learned uh, in the last session. And I hope you guys are good and very clear. Ne? Yes. Let us draw another graph here. You've got y is equals to negative x squared. And here, draw the graph of this function y equal to negative x squared. 
it's a parabolic function because of what has got a squared here it's a parabola function you see it by this two here upwards it will never be four it will never be ten but it only be true it won't it, 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 it will only be true guys and if it's two here you think of these shapes ne? and now since you now you've learned about the shape or the view of a you know that here the view of a is negative one and yeah therefore our graph will face downwards and yeah now you start confusing yourself about anything just draw your box of x and y coordinates and yeah x and y coordinates so you start from negative two uh, negative one uh, zero uh, zero one and you've got two here now one against now uh you plot the coordinates there and if you put in where you see x you put in negative two to find y basically so this negative you, you on a calculator you just put this negative outside the bracket so you're gonna say minus you're gonna put it like this man you're gonna say y is equals to let us for example negative two you put in this minus already outside the bracket you open a bracket where you see x you put in negative two negative two you close the bracket squared then you put it on calculator it's going to give you negative four you put in negative one here on the calculator it's going to give you negative one i tell you put in zero where you see x and get zero it's going to give you zero obviously where you see x again you put in one ne one squared is one then you're going to be left with negative one where you see x you put in two again it's going to give you negative 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 four then with these coordinates here you plot the graph on a collision plane you plot the graph on the condition plane ne? yeah yeah you plot the graph on the condition plane Sorry, yeah, yeah. i plot the graph one two three four one two Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let us plot the coordinates on the Cartesian plane. Okay. So negative two and negative two. Negative four. Okay. So it's going to be negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So x are like negative two, is are negative two. And our y is negative four, so it's going to be negative two and negative four. You join them in the middle where they meet. Negative one and negative one. Negative one is x. Is our negative one? Negative one for y. Is our negative one for y? Yeah. They will join themselves here. Then zero and zero is origin. Yeah. Where they meet. Is our zero and zero our origin? Yeah. One and negative one. One is our one and negative one. They meet here. Negative one, then two and negative four. X on like two, k like two, y on like negative four. Two and negative four, two and negative four. Is it? We are done. Okay, just just for drawing the coordinates there, and you have no what you expect your graph to face downwards. And okay, since so the view of A is negative here, it must face downwards. Sorry, let us join coordinates. Yeah. Now, guys. This is how our graph will look like. I hope you are good and you understand what's happening here. Ne? Hope you are good and you understand what is happening here. That's how the view of A will behave on the graph. Ne? Yes, guys. Now, let us, we are done with determining or explaining the, the effects of the view of A on the graph. Ne? Let us add, remember now, I you have got, uh, remember, I you have got, uh, negative x squared and okay, guys and all the time if there's nothing and okay, the value of you're gonna have plus q here all the time it's there the value of q is there and okay, and in this case the value of q is plus zero if there's nothing then it's zero there okay so the, for in this case you've got a x squared plus q and okay, so it's going to be negative x squared plus zero this zero represents the value of q it means nothing so it means the value of q here this zero it represents 
the turning point of the graph. Where the graph turns, which means where when you turn again, or turn. In this case, our graph turns at zero is to zero. Here, yeah. zero is to at, at the origin. The value of uh, that's where the graph turns, and yeah, which means the value of Q represents the turning point of the graph. Some will say the vertical shift of the graph. So and here the vertical shift, it is on the y-axis. Yeah. Which means our, which means the value of Q represents the vertical shifting of a graph, which means we are graph your dim, but we have a guy, get coordinate here. In this case, the value of Q is that means the graph will turn at the origin at 0 is to 0. If there's nothing here, our graph will always turn at the origin. If there's 0, if there's nothing in terms of the value of Q when you draw the graph, if there's only negative x squared, if, if there's only negative x squared, our graph, will, if there's only negative x squared or positive 2x squared or as long as we don't have the value of Q, if, the, if, the, if there is nothing here, irrespective of what we have here, our graph will always turn at the origin. It, it means that the value of Q is zero. It means our graph will turn at zero. There is no shifting. of It is the mother graph of quadratic, basically. When it turns at the origin, it is the mother graph. I hope you are good and you understand what's happening. Let's go and check about. Let's check the, the effect of the value of Q on the graph. Homework is like this. Uh, y. I get your homework down. Draw the graph. Draw the. Draw the following graphs. Draw the following graphs. Number one. Y is equal to uh, 2x squared. Number 2, y is equal to uh, negative 3x squared. For the following graphs, yeah. yes. Now, this is a homework. Please do it and see you could see. Remember, for, for, for the for number 1, your graph will turn at the origin and to go, it will be concave up. It will go up. Yeah. It will turn at the origin. It will be like this for number one. And for number two, it will also turn at the origin. And you about zero is to zero here. When you draw your graph, it must turn at the origin. And number two, yeah, how? It will be concave downwards. And yeah. Now it will turn at the origin. Now, but it will go downwards. It will be concave down because of this negative sign here. So please, your graphs must look like this when you draw them. Yeah. It, they must turn at the origin. Why? Because the value of Q don't have it here. It's plus zero here. Plus zero, plus zero. Yeah. We talk about the value of Q right now. Let us go to the next part of our video, which is now we've got Y is equal to, uh, okay, before this one, yeah. the value of Q now, yeah. the value of Q is very simple. Yeah. The value of Q represents the vertical shifting of the graph. Vertical. Shifting and just change vertical shifting represents a uh, basically, basically, it's either graph move up or down. It will depend on the value of Q if the graph is going up or down. That means if you draw your condition plane here, your graph will be will, will move from you just check on the y axis. If the graph will go up or down, it will depend on the value of Q. It means when the graph will represent or will depend on the value of Y here. I mean, on the Y axis line, it will only move upwards or downwards, but not sideways. It will dim couple of parts, but no, it's in a talk. Ne? That's what the value of Q represents. And if the value of Q is positive, or it's, if, it, if, if we have got Y is equal to uh, a x squared plus 2 here, ne? which represents the value of Q. Therefore, our graph will move 2 units up. 2 units up. Ne? And if you draw your graph properly, if you've got a, uh, if you draw your graph properly here, and here you say 2 units up, it means it's positive here. And here. Therefore, our graph will move, and here you 1 and 2. And here. And if you, if you draw a graph, you check out the value of A is positive and here. I have a negative sign in one here. Therefore, our graph will start or will turn at 2, positive 2. 
and it only turn it at y positive 2 right here which means this 2 again represents what represents the, the what the y coordinate the y coordinate and yes and with the y coordinate on the graph is right here and just drawing cover the value of a is positive our graph will be look like this will be happy and yes our graph will turn at 0 is 2, 2 means we'll, the, again it's a, the y coordinate of our y intercept of y inter intercept like what? which means y coordinate of y intercept and here how y intercept you do what? you let x be equal to 0 which means you let x on the equation to be equal to 0 and here it's a book of all if I've got here what a where, where, where our graph will turn and get so you just let x be zero and find y and get here yeah. because y is equal to a and get where i see x i put in zero and get to a bracket zero squared plus plus two and get now and get over a zero squared in guy is zero and get plus two a times zero you guy is zero so it's about zero plus two then Y on a guy, he two zero plus two guy, he two therefore the y coordinate is two coordinates of y intercept. Okay, x on a guy is zero, is two, is two, two. This, this, this coordinates come this concept of zero is two comes from here. This two represent the y coordinate of our y intercept. I hope you understand what's happening here, guys. That's how you find. Go to where your graph will turn. So if you know the value of a, without hesitation, you know what your graph will face upwards. And by just looking at the value of q, you know what you you just uh, go and check what where is our y axis line. Here's our y axis line, and we see two here. It means our graph will turn at zero is to two. Where y coordinate is two is right up in the upper section of this concept. Thank you. I hope you understand guys what's happening here. Then now if the value of a is negative, however, we've got negative x squared plus two. If you've got this, and this is must put a graph. Ne? If you've got that in this in that case, go to negative x squared plus two. Remember, the value of a represents the shape of the graph. It's either graph will, will face upwards or downwards. If the value of a is negative, therefore graph will face downwards. And now what is the value of q in this case? It's positive 2. Therefore, our graph will turn at 0 is to 2. Again, where is our 0 is to 2? Here is it. Here. And here, our 2 is positive. Our 2 is positive. And therefore, we must look at on the side of our x, y axis where our y coordinates are positive. It's, it's, not, it's, it's on the upper y axis. Here. It's on the upper y axis. Here. Therefore, Therefore, our graph will, uh, will turn at 0 is to 2. It will face down 1. Thing. But the, the only difference that it's going to face down because of this negative sign here. I hope you understand what's happening here. Let us do an example. An example here is a very simple example here. We've got y is equal to x squared minus 1. Ne? x squared minus 1. How to draw the graph of this function. Now, please pause the video and go through the example here. Pause the video. And go through this example. Yeah. Y equal to x squared minus 1. Yeah. Now, it's very simple and basic. Yeah. Draw the graph of this function. First thing first, you do the box. Don't confuse yourself about finding x and y intercepts. Draw the box so that you can understand what's happening here. So, you've got our box of x and y. Yeah. X and y. Yeah. X and y here. So negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and they've got the uh, we've got 2 here. We've got our 2 here. Yeah. Now just plot the and just use a calculator there. Yeah. Where you see x will put in negative 2 to find y. Yeah. So we're gonna have bracket of negative 2 squared. Give guy. Give 4 and yeah. 4 minus 1, give guy, give 3. Here is it. You put in negative 4 when you see x, you find y. So it's going to be bracket of 
negative 1 close bracket squared minus 1. So negative 1 squared ki, ki 1. 1 minus 1 ki, ki 0. Ne? Then you put in 0 when you see x to find y. It was 0 squared ki 0. 0 minus 1 ki negative 1. You put in 1 when you see x to the 1 squared ki 1. 1 minus 1 ki ki eh, ki 0 actually. Hmm? So ba, eh, 1, 1 squared ki 1, 1 minus 1 ki ki, 1 minus 1 ki 0. Yes, yeah, ki Now, you put in eh, 2 ycx, so ba, 2 squared ki 4, 4 minus 1 ki 3. Then with this, you can plot the graph. Ne? Yes, so you just plot the graph. The, the, just plot the graph there. Hey guys, so uh, let's plot the graph using these coordinates again. Yeah. yeah. Now, okay, negative two and I guess what about one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're not plot the graph properly there. So negative two and three. X one negative two. And our y is positive 3. So it's negative 2 on this side and positive 3, is it? Yeah, we get one only negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. yeah. So it's negative 2 again and 3 on again. Yeah. Negative 1 and 0. Here's our, remember, x on again negative 1. Yeah. Where, is, where is negative 1? Here's our negative one again, and where our negative zero. Therefore, our graph will touch the x-axis. Why? Because our y is equal to zero here. Yeah. That's our y-intercept. That's our actual x-intercept, not y-intercept. Yeah. That's our x-intercept because of what? Our y is equal to zero. Therefore, our graph will only touch the x-axis line where x is equal to negative one and where y is equal to zero. Yeah. Yes. Then x one is zero here. Yeah. Where our negative one negative four one. Common x on is zero, therefore you only uh, focus on the y. Where is y negative? It's on the lower axis anchor. Therefore, where is negative one? Is here. You just plot the point. Negative y is negative one anchor. Then x on is one anchor. Happy. And y on is zero. Okay, now where is x? Where is positive one on the x axis? Here's our positive one. What is our y? Is zero. Therefore, our graph will touch the x axis again. Where x is equal to zero and y equal to where x is equal to one and y is equal to zero. Yeah. So if one of the two uh, x is or one of, if if x is zero and y in this case is negative one, focus on the y only. Leave out this zero and focus on the the one with with no zero from the coordinates here. Just like we did here, I get it. Y, y x is equal to one and our y is equal to zero and here. You go on the Cartesian plane to, to check out here. For x, where is x positive 1? It's on the right, or it's on the left. It's, it's, it's on the right of your hand, which is, on this case, on the positive x-axis, and you're one. You know? And leave out the y, which is equal to 0. This zero, zero means nothing. Therefore, you just put your point, or you just plot the point where x is equal to 1. And you're, and you to touch the x-axis because of what? Y on like zero. Then two and three. X on like two and our y is equal to three. Here's it. Two and three. Like what? Then you are done. Just join the points there and draw the graph. Join the points. Hey, excuse me. Hey. Just join the points there. And plot the graph here. You know the graph here. Here's how our graph will look like. Is our graph how our graph will will look like? I hope you are good, guys. Yes, this is how our graph will look like. Ne? <coughs> I hope I understand what's happening here. Now, for 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 a space, we don't we need we like space here. Ne? I will show you something here. Remember our graph? Angry, you negative one. Angry, move. Therefore, our graph tends at zero is to negative one. I hope you understand what's happening here. Our graph tends at zero is to negative one. Now, the value of Q in this case is negative one. Label. That means our graph, I get it, 
the value of q represents the vertical, vertical shifting of the graph up or down therefore our graph moved one unit downwards and it turns at negative one zero to negative one therefore this negative one represents the y-intercept this negative one represents the y-coordinate of our y-intercept wherein our x is equal to zero i hope you are understanding what's happening here ne? yeah please guys understand what's happening here ne? so alternatively or another way to find or to draw the graph is by finding x and y but don't confuse yourself about finding x and y intercept like this. this box is recommendable because of what you're able to know the shape of the graph in this case like and remember the value of a is positive here therefore our graph will face upwards and the value of q is negative one therefore our graph will turn or will start turning at, ne at zero to negative four no longer at the origin why because the value of q is just moved the shift one unit downwards. Yeah. So if the question says you must find the x and y intercept, x and y intercept, x, x intercepts, x intercept, you do what? You let y be equal to that means when you see y you put in zero there right? to find x. Hurry. I put in zero on the one on my left side of the equation. Right? Zero is equal to I have solved for x. X squared minus one again okay. now how do i solve x here i get that x squared minus one i transpose this negative one to the left it over zero plus one again okay. is equals to x squared what is zero plus one again one again okay. one is equals to x squared now our aim is to be left with positive x not positive x squared we need to find we need to be left with only positive x on one side which is on the right in this case okay. to remove this squared here always introduce square roots on both sides okay. so what the square root on both sides square root and remember this code sign always goes with plus or minus okay. plus or minus whenever you introduce square roots you must know that this plus these two solutions there basically okay. therefore x is equals to i hear this I get the square root, it means this square root sign will remove this two and be left with x. And what is the square root of positive x? And our value will be, then we have got two solutions. And here, we have got a square root with positive. And get the positive more. Or the square root with negative or x. Or x will be equal to negative square root of, of one. And here, if you press on the calculator there, if you say what is the positive square root one, what is the square root of positive one? Okay, you one or or x or what is this? What is the answer for negative square root of one? Keep okay, get negative one. And therefore, what are coordinates? I just couldn't say here it's a let y be zero. That means it's x only you can get one, y only you can get zero or so if you have got square root, if you introduce square roots, you must always know that there will be two solutions. There. And for quadratic equation, it will be always be like this. You'll have two solutions when finding the x-intercept. That means our graph will touch the x-axis on both sides. And here we've got one and zero. Here's our one and zero. Here, okay. one and zero. Okay. Therefore, you can connect other coordinates of this point. Here, okay. one and zero. And again, our graph touches negative one on our right side. And here, on our left side. So we're gonna have negative one and zero. If, where do we find it on the graph? Here's it. Here, we find negative one is to zero. I hope you understand what's happening here. So these are these two coordinates are our x-intercept, and this one coordinate represent the y intercept of the graph yeah let's find the coordinates of our intercept using the box uh, it will show you good that x and y intercept and okay. so for y intercept for y intercept you do what you let x be equal to zero one okay. where is the x put in zero therefore gonna have y is equals to zero squared and okay. minus one i okay. i've put in zero is cx to find y okay. 
So bracket of zero plus bracket squared minus one. Zero squared is guy is zero. Zero minus one is guy is negative one. On a calculator, what are coordinates of our y intercept? X and y is zero, but our y is negative one. Here is it. Zero is to negative one. Zero is to negative one. Well, at this point where our graph turns, or the value of Q represents the y coordinate of our y intercept, wherein our x is equal to zero. I hope you are very clear on that, guys. Yes. Let me just see. Y is equal to a negative two x squared minus two. Negative two x squared. Minus two to draw the graph of this function. Very simple. And you have the dx, the dy, our box. This is our box here. Of negative two, negative one, zero, one, two. Anger. So we're not in your own a. Uh, Part. You just give yourself or you just provide yourself with x coordinates yeah? from negative to positive. Therefore, when you see x, you put in negative 2 to find y. Yeah? So you want to have negative 2 bracket negative 2 plose bracket squared. I get on and to solve y is equals to negative 2. Yeah? Oh, no? oh, but, uh, and x only negative 2. Yeah? Here's where you see x, you put in negative 2 on the graph. So we're going to have negative 2 squared yeah? minus minus 2 level. This negative 2 is for x coordinate and you find y. Calculator, you put this on the calculator. So you're going to have a negative 2 squared, give 4. Then negative 2 times 4, give a negative 8. Negative 8 minus 2 is negative 6. Then where is the x again? You put in negative 1. On, on, on the calculator, you're going to have neg negative 1 squared, give 1. Yeah? Negative 2 times 1, give negative 2. Negative 2 minus 2, give negative, negative 4. Where is the x? We put in 0 again. Then 0 squared is 0. Yeah? Negative 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus negative 2 is negative 2. Then where is the x again? We put in 1 to find y. So we're going to have 1 squared is 1. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. Where is the x? We put in 2 again to find y. 2 squared is 4. I get negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Negative 8 minus uh, 8. 2 squared is 4, okay. then negative 2 times 4 is okay. negative 8, negative 8 minus 2 is negative 10. Can I please go back guys here, I think there is a mistake. Okay. Ne negative 2, let me just put in negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4, okay. negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Negative 8 minus 2 is negative 10, not negative 6. Please fix the mistake, there is negative 10, not negative negative six yeah i hope you are good guys now with this please draw the graph here and get draw the graph draw the graph with these coordinates so negative two and here is on our left hand here yeah negative one negative two one two one two three four five six seven eight nine whatever ten here yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, whatever 10. It depend on what, you, what do we have here. So negative 2, negative 2, and negative 10. Where is our negative 10? Where is our negative 10? Here is the thing. Negative 10, I want to get y axis here. It's on our y axis here. So it will be some, somewhere here. I, I, I don't draw according to scale. Yes, please, we are not drawing according to scale there. So we've got negative 1 and negative 4. Negative 1 is our negative 1. And here's our negative 4. It's somewhere here. Okay. Then 0 is x and y are like negative 2. If the situation is like this, 0 and negative 2. x are like 0, okay. y are like negative 2. Leave out this 0 and focus on the y, which is negative 2. Where is our negative 2 on our axis? On the lower side, okay. it can be here. Like what? These are y intercept by the way. Here we've got let, let x be zero. These are y intercept. Okay. These are this is the coordinate of y intercept. That's why our graph will turn. Okay. One and negative four. One and negative four. Somewhere here. 
Lego. I'm going to say this. Ah, uh, okay. Lego. Two and negative ten. Two and negative ten. Two and negative ten is somewhere right here. And here. Yes. Then with this coordinates, just join the points there. Join the points. Yeah. Just join the points there. And here, like, oh guys, this is how a graph will look like. And, here. and remember, this point here that touches the y axis line is our, uh, it's going to be of this point R, 0 and negative 2. And here. This point, this one. That this is where our graph turns. And, here. and remember, the value of A is negative. And this negative represents the shape of our graph. Therefore, our graph will face downwards, irrespective of what we have here. As long as we've got this negative sign here. Our graph will face downwards. And the value of Q here is negative 2. That means our graph will turn at negative 2 at this point. Okay? Wherein we find our y intercept. And our y intercept, we do what? We let x be 0. And it means what our graph has moved 2 units downwards. I hope you understand what is happening here. Determine the coordinates of our y and x intercept. Y intercept. For intercept, you do what? How to write, how to write it coordinates for intercept and next intercept? For intercept, you let let x be equal to zero. Come on, so we see x put in zero to find y. Okay? So you're gonna have y is equals to negative two bracket put in zero squared minus two. Okay? Then all these we put it on a calculator. We put this on a calculator, and it's gonna be give you negative two. What are coordinates of our intercept? It's 0 for x and negative 2 for y. Then, where do you see it on the graph? Here's it. Here's our point. Here is the coordinates of our intercept. That means, once again, this point represents the y intercept of the graph. That means where the graph cuts the y axis line. That means that is where our x is equal to 0. This is our y intercept. And this value of q represents, the value of q in this case represents the y coordinate of our y intercept. I hope you understand what is happening here. Now for x intercept, for x intercept, for x intercept, you do what? You let y be equal to zero. When you see y, you put in zero to find x. And here's it. You put zero on the left side of the equation and you find the x. So you're gonna have negative two x squared minus 2. And here, I get a I get a one graph here on a head touchy. The x axis line. And here, you can see good our graph that they touch this line. This x axis, this line. Like what? It means good our graph does not exist. Since we don't have x intercept, if our graph does not touch the x axis line, we don't have x intercepts. But you, I will show you right now. Yeah. Now let us solve for x. I transpose this negative 2 to the left. I think about 0 plus 2 and here it's equals to negative 2 x squared. Okay. Then 0 plus 2 is going to be 2 here. Then you've got, you've got negative 2 x squared. Now, go back to multiply more. I need to be left with x on one side. I divide both sides by negative 2. This negative 2 divided by negative 8. Negative 2. Negative 2. Therefore, I'm left with this negative 2, cancel this negative 2, and be left with x squared. It's equals to 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1. Like, oh. Then to remove this squared here, I told you, only when you add squared, you introduce square roots on both sides. Square roots on both sides. And it, they go s plus or minus, plus or minus. Now, Therefore, this square root will cancel this two and be left with x. And x is equal to plus or minus square root of negative one. And guys, we don't have the square root of negative number. Harness, if we if we can put this on, if we can say, I think we've got two solutions here. We've got positive square root of negative one, or a negative square root of negative one. So we're gonna have two, this two. So we're gonna have so, two solutions, by the way. So we're gonna have x is equal to positive square root of negative one, or x is equal to 
negative square root of negative one. It will be like this. We're gonna have two solutions there for positive and negative. Now we don't have the value, we don't have the square root of negative one on our calculator. It does not exist, it says maths error. If we put this uh, negative square root of negative one on the calculator, therefore no solution. For both answers, you just write an A. No, no, not applicable or no solution. You just write no solution or, or an A failure here. Why? Because you don't have x intercept on our graph, therefore our graph will never touch the x axis line. Yeah, that's how you get the marks for this. For doing this, you can just get your true marks there. For for do, for just doing that, and you just get your true marks again here and one mark for substitution and stuff. So that's how you find your x and y intercept. Now, guys, homework. Uh, Number one, draw the graph of the following, following parabola, parabola, parabola graphs. Name. Number A, y is equals to <laughs> x squared. A, x squared minus 4 number b we've got a uh, y is equals to negative 4 x squared minus 2 okay we we'll draw these two graphs there and you can literally go change yourself by drawing this one number c y is equals to negative 2 x squared plus 80 you change yourself by drawing these two graphs there then number two uh, determine determine the coordinates coordinates of the x and y intercepts of the above graphs of the above graphs so question number two you must determine the coordinates of the y-intercept and x-intercept of these three graphs basically now for answers ne, for number a our value of a is, ne, is positive for one again therefore our graph will face upwards but it will turn at negative four that means our graph will look like this for number a it will turn at negative four okay. our graph will turn at zero to negative four you must your graph will look like this for number A. For number B, our graph will turn downwards. And it will be downwards and it will turn it negative 2. It will be like this, number B. Level. And number C, it will turn, common, the value of A is negative, therefore our graph will turn it positive 8. It means it will be somewhere here. Level. That's how simple it is, guys. Please draw the graph and find the x and, x and y intercept of the graph. Yeah. Math is easy. Let us. Go through the examples there. Thank you very much, guys.